I absolutely was amazed at his artistry. It was incredible. He just loves to have fun and get his hands dirty and get involved and, and create something. And that's what we're all about. If it's going to work on anybody, it would work on Jim because he's so good at contorting his face. He has this great Grinch face, right? just a Grinch smile and stuff, you know. Jim's got, you know, a rubber face to begin with. Jim Carrey wasn't the only one being transformed. Every Who down in Whoville needed a certain unique look, and it was up to Rick and his team to design each and every one of them. The scale of this movie is so immense. Never have I done anything where we had, you know, 90 people in makeup. Eventually, Ron Howard decided he had to experience what the cast was going through for himself. I did dress up as the Grinch one day and directed all day long as the Grinch. It must have been very confusing for everyone else. Great, let's move on. This is ridiculous. If I can't find something nice to wear, I'm not going. Hundreds of costumes were required for the Who's of Whoville. I really tried to evoke the feelings I had when I read Dr. Seuss as a child. It's really theatrical. We have a Prada Who and a Chanel Who, and I don't know how many people will notice that, but that made it a lot of fun for me. While shooting continued at Universal Studios, work was already underway at Digital Domain, the visual effects team behind Ron Howard's Oscar-winning Apollo 13. Probably the biggest challenge in this film is the sheer number of shots. The set of Whoville is the largest ever built at Universal Studios. Still, the filmmakers use several computer-generated matte paintings to further extend the fanciful world of the Who's. There is a blue screen wrapping around it that allows us to composite extended buildings, mountains, sky, etc. Once every nuance of production had been carefully considered, there was one more crucial detail of post-production for Ron Howard to address. Ask any who, and they'll have this to say, there is no place like Whoville around Christmas Day. Ron called upon the distinguished Academy Award-winning actor Sir Anthony Hopkins to provide the narrator's perfect tone and pitch. It's total whimsy and total freedom from who we are and, and where we live, which is the great thing about doing this stuff. I know we've created a world that is mind-blowing, that I've never even seen before in any other movie. I mean, that it has speed and color and light. We all had our work cut out for us with The Grinch. Tell it to stop! We had great screenwriters. We went to Rick Baker, one of the world's greatest makeup artists, and of course, the extraordinary Jim Carrey. He's green, he's hairy, he's hilarious. <laughs>